Hey. I, I'll, I'll come over there. I just, I wanted to be by people. It's so nice to, you know. This place is really, I don't, you know, we, we get up there and, and it's, it's cool to be up there. It's amazing to be up there. It's life changing to be up there. But the truth is down here is the stuff that really matters to me is the people. Uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do theater and not connect to people, well, I, I just either do it in my living room or I would just do it on video. I love, I love live theater and I love that we get to, to be with an audience and I just wanted to start the show by coming out first of all and saying thank you for being that audience tonight because you're great. How's everybody? I, mean, I should check. I, I get concerned. Is everybody feeling good? Feeling okay? I, one, of our, one of our guys, uh, he said he had a beginning of a head cold and he, he didn't want to make it down because he didn't want to risk getting any of you sick. But you're all feeling okay? Okay, because the idea, first of all, 12, I hope you're feeling better. I just want to shout you out. But also, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified of the idea of, of getting sick and not getting to work. So thank you for not sharing the plague as we go into summer and then winter cold season. Ooh, do that together. We'll tune it later. We'll tune it in post. It was beautiful. It was, it was, it was beautiful. I was going to say it was like a harmony, only not at all. It's okay. I'm not much better. That's why, why I had you do it. So, you know, the truth is a head cold once changed my life. Uh, the, the most life-changing things that have ever happened to me. Uh, twice were, were head colds. The first one, uh, I got a head cold because I smoked two packs of clove cigarettes a day. Uh, weighed 300 pounds and, you know, it was uh, not on my doctor's advice, but on the fact that I woke up unable to breathe. I said, maybe I should quit smoking. Well, the block of phlegm in my head did. And I, I, succeeded in, I succeeded in overcoming that, I quit. I started walking, which gave me a lot of energy because I had too much energy because I had quit smoking and I was like, oh my God. And then I, I started juggling because I just couldn't sit still. And at that point, the, everything happened that led me to right here. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, so that was the first head cold that changed my life. The second one that changed my life I, was great. It was my favorite one because I didn't have to have it. I mean, I feel, I feel bad that somebody had to have a head cold, but, but it wasn't me. So that was good. Um, a very good friend of mine who's a performer came down with a head cold after she had agreed to perform in a, a charity vaudeville show. It was about four years ago. And um, my name came up as a possible replacement because I was working with a small group of idiots on creating a circus troupe. And I got a phone call from this uh, old Shriner clown named Gene. And Gene said to me, he says, uh, can you come and do the show? We've got this spot open. We'd love if, if, we could, if we could have you guys be in the show. Now, we had been sitting around a living room talking about the possibility of someday performing. We had precisely no idea what the hell we were doing. Uh, we could juggle a little bit. Uh, one of us could. It wasn't me. And I said, yes. He said, good. Uh, show's in a week. Five days, actually, at the time of the phone call. I said a few other things, but after I hung up on the nice man. I went to the troop, and the, the really good news is they did, not they did not lynch me. Because I said, in five days, we're performing in front of a bunch of people on a stage. Life-changing, amazing moment. That was it. It was go time, five days. And we did it. Let me tell you, it was... Yeah. The one thing that is different about the performance we put in, and that, was that we didn't drop anything. That was the only difference. It was, all of us were so scared, no one would be on stage by themselves, we crammed five people on a stage smaller than that. Oh, we all stood there, right next to each other, doing stuff to a song that none of us really knew, but we sure had a plan and we had a lot of heart. And I, I, I will admit there is video of this mess. <laughs> and and you, if you know where to look, you can find it. If you don't know where to look, good. <laughs> Don't put the URL here. Okay. She's gonna do. She's gonna do it. So, so that was our start. That was the start of everything, which led to here. At the time, we we were victorious because we got up on one of those things and we did something we'd never done before, and it was, it was okay. It was a good start, and it was amazing because once we got that good start out of the way, we could get better. <laughs> Finally, we could get better because we weren't getting better sitting in someone's living room. We just weren't. So we did. And we made a tradition that every year we would bring a performance to, to this vaudeville, this little tiny fundraiser 
we would go keep bringing performers back just because we thought, hey, that'd be a nice, a nice way to say thank you because you actually got us off the couch and doing. And so we do every year. And it got a little better every year. This year, we brought two performances. Um, and I'm proud to say, going into the show, I knew they were good. And the reason I knew they were good is we have this place that we built. Not six months after that very first performance, we opened the open stage. And we had a mad science lab where we could test out theater. And we use this process. We talk about it all the time, how you get up there and you, you perform your heart out. And then you take the video and the photos and the feedback from this audience that if you ask, we'll actually give you feedback, like real critical notes on how to improve your work. And we unbolted those acts and looked at them really critically because we were able to put our, we were surrounded by friends, so we could put our divadom aside and our ego aside and all of that stuff that gets in the way aside. And we beat ourselves up and said, how can we make these acts really good? And we did. And we went out there and we rocked it. And they were amazing. I, I, I saw Scott Rankus and uh, Courtney Von Use, who's our newest member, out there doing a piece. I saw them produce here and they made it 10 times better. I did something that I did two weeks ago on this stage. And I got a chance to take it, up, take it out on a stage in front of you guys, figure out what it needed to do to be better, brought it to the show and it, and it worked. It was great. This process works. Getting up here in front of you guys makes all of the difference. It's a mad science lab because no one else on earth who is sane would let us do that. <laughs> Fortunately for you guys, that process, I know not everybody, I mean, most everyone here is a performer. Shout if you're a performer. A lot of you are performers. But fortunately, that process for performers is really encouraging. And for people who are an audience, which we need, thank you for being here, those of you who didn't shout. It's fortunately, from what I'm told, fairly entertaining to watch us screw up and get better. So thank you for that. And it is a mad science lab, as I said. And the first rule of mad science is you have to show your work. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. <laughs>